Hey guys, we're multiplying matrices today. We have our matrices listed up here, A, B, C, and D, all right, along with their dimensions. And our two problems, we're gonna take A times D, and also matrix B times matrix C. Okay, but before we do that, guys, I'm the math professor, Kyle Martin. This is the channel where you do your math homework fast and accurately. Okay, so if you don't remember, if you're able to multiply these together, I want you to go back and maybe watch this video that I'll post up here, all right? That tells you if it's even possible to multiply certain matrices together. There's gonna be times where it's not possible uh, to multiply those together but for these ones we already checked in our last video that those are okay and so we're going to get into that let's start here with number one all right i wrote out number one for us here and i also took uh, matrix a and matrix d and i stuck them next to each other uh, just so we can kind of see what we're doing here a little bit easier all right the way that we multiply these first off we know we are able to multiply these because a two by two matrix times a two by two matrix. The middle numbers match up. That tells us we're allowed to multiply those together as well as the final dimension of our new one is gonna be the outside, a two by two, those outside numbers there. So I'm gonna make an extra large two by two over here, extra large, because we're gonna have to put a lot of information in that and then eventually simplify it down. Okay, the way we do this, well, the way we multiply is we're gonna take our first row in our first matrix times our first column in our second matrix. Okay, and we have to kind of put it together in a special way. So we're gonna multiply kind of these first elements of those things. That's why we need the, need the dimensions to match up. So we can take zero times negative three, which is zero. And then we're gonna add that to the next ones, two times five. Two times five here is 10. Okay, so eventually our first element in there is going to be 10. My next element um, for this spot over here, this is a two, by two, remember, the next element that we're gonna do is we're gonna now take our first row times our second column, all right? First row in our first matrix times our second column in our second matrix. So again, zero times four is zero, and uh, two times six is 12. And you're gonna, you're gonna add those together, so zero plus 12. All right, and then for our bottom ones, now I can do my second row times my first, uh, first column. So negative four, times negative three is a positive 12, plus, we're always adding these together, and then six times five is 30, is 30, okay? And then the last one, we're gonna take our second uh, row times our second column, and we're gonna do the same thing. Negative four times four is 16, negative 16, plus six times six is 36, all right, and then we just have to simplify that together and that's gonna be our answer, all right? So if I do this, if I simplify, I guess I made that way too big. Um, I'll make the smaller version up here of my two by two. Zero plus 10 is 10 for my first, uh, first element. Zero plus 12, of course, is 12. 12 plus 30 is 42. And lastly, negative 16 plus 36 is 20, all right? So my final answer when I multiply these two together is 10, 12, 42, 20. All right, guys, number two, we have kind of uh, some wonky dimensions now. This is a three by two, remember, a three by two, and this one is a two by three uh, for B times C. So we are able to multiply these together because our middle numbers match, and then our answer is actually gonna be a three by three. So this one could take us a little bit of time, but I think we can do it, all right? So the same rules apply here. Uh, when we're multiplying these together, we need to start by taking our first row times our first column, all right? So the first elements here, we have one times six. So let me make a decently big three by three. Uh, one times six is six, plus we're gonna add that to negative three times three. In this case, that's a negative nine. I'll put my negatives in parentheses maybe. Okay, for the next, um, the next row, I'm gonna run out of space. Let's try it. We'll, Fill in the other side here when we're done. Uh, for the next one, we're gonna do our first row times our second um, column in the second one. So again, one times five is five, plus negative three times negative two is a positive six, so plus six. And then for the last one, the first row times our last column, which is one times four, which is four, and negative three times one is a negative three, so plus a negative three. Okay, that should be plenty of room. And then let's do it for the other two. Five times six, so my second row times my first column. Five times six is 30. And then seven times three is 21, plus 21. Five times five for the second one here is 25. Seven times negative two is negative 14. 
Oops, negative 14. Oh, I met him. That's negative 14. Um, and then 5 times 4 is 20. Plus 7 times 1 is 7. Okay, almost done here. Last row times our first, second, and third columns. 9 times 6 is 54. 1 times 3 is negative 3. Or negative 1 times 3 is negative 3. 9 times 5 is 45. And 1 times negative 2. Negative 1 times negative 2 is a positive 2. So plus 2. And then 9 times 4 is 36. And negative 1 times 1 is a negative 1. All right, so then we just have to simplify those together, and our answer is going to be a 3 by 3. Let's try it here. I'll make my 3 by 3 answer up here. Uh, 6 minus 9 is negative 3. 5 plus 6 is 11. Uh, 4 minus 3 is 1. Uh, 30 plus 21 is 51. 25 minus 14 uh, is 11. 11 again. And then 20 plus 7 is 27. 54 minus 3 is 51. That's interesting. Uh, 45 plus 2 is 47. And lastly, 36 minus 1 is 35. So your answer uh, to this 3 by 2 matrix times this 2 by 3 matrix is this 3 by 3 matrix all simplified. Hey guys, matrices can be pretty tough, but I hope this video helped you out. If it did, down below, if you would like this video and also subscribe to my channel, I would appreciate it. And we'll see you in the next one.